Hello, welcome back to another vlog. I am Sean and I run Nap and Co and we make all things magical fragrance and homeware. And I started this channel because I wanted to document my journey in restarting my small business and hopefully to help anybody else wanting to make candles, wax melts, any kind of home fragrance um, or just run a small business. So hopefully there's gonna be a mixture of everything in the vlogs to help show you behind the scenes because I know some people just like to watch behind the scenes. I am one of those people. Um, so I wanted to take you along with me and film what I do. So that's why we're here. So today I am going to be testing my wicks and showing you all how to go about that. I am doing this because the wax that I used previously is being discontinued. So I need to find a new wax. So I'm gonna show you everything that I've got ready, how I'm going about it and then go through the testing with you and show you the results and hopefully we will have a formula that I can um, move forward with with um, making my candles. So I've set everything up here just to show you everything that I've got ready. So first and foremost I'm testing my new waxes. So the two waxes that I have got to um, test are Ecosystem SCX and then I have also got a bag here, I'm not gonna lift it up, of um, Golden Wax 464. Now I use the Golden Wax 494 for my melts, so I'm really hoping that this is the one that works for me, to be honest. Um, and I've used Golden Wax for my melts for a long time. This comes with very good reviews, but some people don't get on with it, so we're gonna see how we get on. I've got some little wick stickers here, and then I have got eight of my vessels. So these are the vessels that I'm going to be using. These are the Lottie matte glass from Candle Shack. Um, so basically when you're doing your testing, you want all of the elements to be the same. So the only thing that's gonna change is my wicks. So I've got four glasses and four wicks to try with the golden wax and then the same four glasses and the same four wicks to try with my ecosystem SCX. Obviously the colours are different, that's just because I originally ordered grey but then switched to the black, but the vessels are exactly the same, it's just the colour. Um, so I've got my four different wicks here and I've labelled each glass. So the four ones that I am going to try, um, I have got, all of these came from Candle Shack, I just really like ordering from there. I've got the Stabilo 14 and I have got the Stabilo 16. So the size of the wick that you want depends on your inside diameter of the glass. So these glasses I have got are 7.6 centimeters or 76 millimeters inside diameter. So I have ordered basically, the Stabilo 14 is the one that it says will fit that diameter, but I've also ordered the size up. I always, always go a size up um, just in case it just needs that extra burn to get the burn pool to reach both sides of the glass. And then I've also got um, an Eco 6 and an Eco 8 wick. So the Eco 6, again, is the one that is suited to this diameter glass and the Eco 8 is the size above. The Eco wicks are the ones that I've worked with before, but I didn't want to just automatically go for those, so I thought I would try these other ones as well. So I've labelled each of my glasses with, with which wax and which wick is in each. So all along the back, I've got my four that are gonna have the golden wax in with each of the four different wicks. And then along the front, I've got the SCX wax with each of the different wicks. So everything is the same in each, apart from the wicks and then each row is a different wax. It's important as well to use the same fragrance oil in every glass. I thought I'd just turn you around again. So yeah, each of the elements are gonna be exactly the same. So I'm gonna use the same oil in every candle too. Um, so the, what I thought I would do is I'm, I'm gonna use my husband's favorite because even if they don't burn properly for me to sell, we can still use them as a candle. Like I can still burn them to get the scent in the house. So I'm gonna use my husband's favorite fragrance that we sell currently which is this oil from Craftivator, which is aqua minerals and sea kelp. This is what I sell as, um, I don't think I've got any, under the sea, um, which is our aerial princess inspired fragrance. Um, so I'm gonna use this oil in all of them, um, just because then I know that he will enjoy having those candles. So even though they're testers, we can use them. So I'm gonna use this because I know that that's his favorite. It smells so good. 
so good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stick all my wicks in, get them all stuck in. I'm gonna go melt my wax, mix my um, oil in. I will come back at a later time to do kind of like a formula, I call it a recipe, um, for each candle. I make my wax melts at about 7.5% fragrance load, so I'm gonna go for that to start with, I think, with the candles too. Um, and see how our like hot and cold throw is. I will, I'll go through all of the terminology when it comes to actually testing the candles. I'm gonna go melt my wax, pour my candles um, and let them cure and then we will start testing. This may look like a botch home job to you but it's working perfectly. I really wanted to use wooden pegs but they're just not quite long enough for these glasses. So I've super glued a skewer and it's holding them on. So they are all poured. I mix my fragrance oil at exactly the same temperature for each wax. The golden wax is just starting to set there because that one was poured first. Yes, it was a pain to prepare, but the SCX wax is so smooth. Like it's just like creamy. So I'm gonna be really interested to find out if that's the wax that I go for because um, yeah. It's thrown a spanner in the works because I was convinced that the golden wax would be the one. I mean, obviously it all depends on the burn. It all depends on the burn, but yes, I did. I've just never worked with a solid wax before. So having to like chop it up was a bit of a pain, but it was okay. Um, but yeah, it's just, a, it seems really silky. So the main difference between the two is the Ecosystem SCX is a wax blend. So it's soy and coconut together um, and the, golden wax is purely soy they're both plant-based I'm very um, very passionate about everything I use being plant-based so um, I know a lot of candle makers are using beeswax at the minute but I want to stick to soy or soy coconut blend so oh I'm, I'm so excited to see the result of this because I'm, I've been really shocked by that wax hmm so yeah I'll come back later when we're ready to burn. We are two hours into curing, so I thought I would just give you an update. So the golden wax candles have cured beautifully. I've got such a nice flat top on there. Really nice and smooth. They look beautiful. The um, SCX wax, it does look nice, it's settled nicely, but you can see it has risen around the wick and also it's dimpled a bit there. So in terms of curing, the golden wax is winning at the minute, it's got a much more aesthetic appearance to it. Cold throw is amazing, it smells so good, let me just smell one of these as a cold throw. So the cold throw on the SCX is not good. It's, I don't think it's good. If I compare like for like, the golden wax fragrance is a lot, a lot, lot stronger. Interesting, this is a roller coaster, isn't it? Here's my helper. So we've cut all the wicks down to between a quarter and a half inch. Um, and now we're just gonna light them all. So hour one update and officially this Debilo and the SCX are just not a good combination. Yes, I've got a full melt pool side to side, but it's way too deep for just after an hour. Like he's just burning too quickly. So that one is gone. And the same with this one, it's not quite at the side, but it's quite deep and just burning too quickly. So I think that combination is out. Um, the this one mushrooming so I think that's that one out at the minute this one to me is looking the best eco 8 and a golden 464 but also the stabilo 14 and 464 is looking okay but again it might just be too deep of a pool I'm not sure on this one at the minute I need that one to spread out a little bit good evening we are three hours into the wick test and the results show exactly why you need to test your wicks. It's so important. Um, I've had two go out, um, or one's very nearly gone out. 
yeah, it just speaks volumes really about the importance of doing this um, to find out what works for you in the combination that you need. So with the fragrance load that you put in, glass or tin or jar that you use, um, it can just make such a big difference. So basically I'm ruling out the SCX because for me it doesn't quite work. This one um, mushroomed, burnt too fast, too deep. This one is about to go out. This one has gone out. Um, and this one just not quite burnt right. And then, sorry about the shadow, it's late at night now. In terms of the golden wax, again, this one went too fast, too deep. That flame is just way too big. You don't want a flame that big. The, um, wick on this one has mushroomed slightly the melt pool is really nice it's the right depth it's the right width it goes edge to edge i don't like these gray glasses because i don't like that you can see through um but yeah the wick the mushroom on on the wick I just don't quite like the what was this one so the eco six i haven't quite got a melt pool full melt pool on it but the Eco 8, I have pretty much got a full melt pool at exactly the right height that it should be. And there's no mushroom on the wick. The, the flame is a really nice height. It's just as I would want it. It's obviously really hard to assess the hot throw at the moment because I've got eight candles burning, all of the same fragrance. Well, this test was purely for the wax wick a, a wick burn test basically um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two that I've done the best and I'm going to put them in separate separate rooms so I'm going to blow them out let them set and then tomorrow I will light them again in separate rooms so hot throw is basically what you can smell when the candle's burning cold throw is when it's set like how well you can smell it so when I was sniffing it earlier um, I was assessing the cold throw basically Hello guys, it is now a couple of days later. You're just on my phone temporarily because I want to just quickly film a little update on this vlog. Now, in terms of wicks and wax, so I decided on the wax, that was sorted. I think I decided on the wick, but I wasn't quite getting the hot throw I wanted. I'm just melting my wax now to make two more candles. Um, just with me making at these slightly different temperatures, um, and hopefully it will improve my hot throw. I'm sticking with my 8% fragrance load um, and just gonna see if this makes the difference. So yeah, it just shows the time and investment, the testing, um, it's, it's, it's expensive. It's the expensive part of candle making because we, I've gone through so many supplies to get to this point. So I am gonna end this video here just because it's just me going backwards and forwards about what I'm doing. Um, but just to show you how I've gone about the process of testing multiple wicks, multiple waxes, but keeping all your other variables the same um, is the key. So for now, thank you so much for watching. Please do make sure you subscribe, click below, leave me a comment, let me know what wax you use, what fragrance load you use, what wicks you use, what works for you. And also it's helpful for everybody watching this video if they can see. So thank you so much for getting this far. I'm really hoping I become more concise with my information and more helpful as we go along, but I really do appreciate you watching. So until next time, bye.